Hi Scorpio and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look at and see um, what the tarot cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So the reading here is intended for Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and for those of you cross watching as well. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. Okay, the four of wands here, you've got a lot of fire energy, okay, so some of you may be involved with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whereas for those of you, it doesn't necessarily mean you're involved with the fire sign, it's just, fire is a very primal type of energy, it's all about taking action here, so four of wands does signify some sort of homecoming or a reunion of some sort, you could potentially be re uh, reconnecting here with someone from the past, someone who potentially has fallen off your radar, someone whom you might have been romantically involved with, okay, some of you might have been in a relationship with this person, others of you, you guys may have been loosely involved, but you could potentially be picking things back up with this person, I like that the ace of wands follows, um, as well as death is in the top row, because I feel like something here is being reborn, so you're going to revive a connection that, like, may have the fires, the flames on it, the flames of this connection may have dwindled a little bit. So now you're going to be reigniting those flames of passion and intimacy and just love here. Okay, so I definitely feel like there is this a very passionate, very steamy reunion here. Okay, some of you, it is someone whom you're still very attracted to Scorpio. Okay, you guys, even though there may have been a separation or even though you may have ended things, when this person comes back into your life, you're going to pick up where you left off. Okay, the attraction, that never faded. So, okay, the flames might have dwindled a little bit, but here you are, you're going to stoke those flames and you're going to be reigniting a passionate romantic connection. So it does feel like a reunion, a homecoming, a reunion, reconnecting. I definitely feel like something here is being renewed, okay? So you're reviving something here, a relationship, a connection. For some of you, it just... It may not necessarily mean that it's going to result in a relationship, okay? It could be like a casual arrangement or a no-strings-attached type of situation you had going on. So it looks like that's sort of re-emerging. And some of you, you're fine with that. You don't At this stage, you don't want anything else and you're fine with that. But the attraction and the passion is definitely there. For others of you with the Four of Wands, this is someone... Now, this is for those of you who've been doing long distance here. I feel like you will have a chance here to meet someone. To meet that person face to face. To finally embrace one another. So, for those of you who are doing long distance, you are going to finally be meeting your person here. I'm also seeing family, so it's not just it's not just your meeting them. They could potentially be some of you. I feel like you're moving in with someone here with the four of wands energy. You're moving in together. You're actually moving in together. Or there's going to be discussions of the two of you living together here. It's happening soon because the aces, well, the wands here, the suit of wands, are a very quick moving energy. Okay, they're a very almost instant like you know think of the saying it spreads like wildfire you know fire is very very quick very rapid so something is happening a lot sooner than you anticipate maybe even this discussion or the fact that you are going to be moving in with someone but i definitely see a long distance for those of you who are doing long distance whether this person is from a different 
like resides in a different country or like city or state there's a beautiful fateful like a beautiful fated meeting that's happening for you that's destined for you in the future and this is going to give birth to a new beginning guys with the ace of wands this is a new beginning a new relationship here a new chapter a new opportunity here new advantages here and notice the rolling peaks in the background that to me signifies that you guys have you've been through a lot with this person you've had your fair share of ups and downs it's been a roller roller coaster but you guys stuck it out you guys stuck it out and now you get to have that reward you get to have that new you know that new romantic chapter you've always wanted now with death i see a personal transformation around your energy or i feel like things are transforming for you in a very positive way okay things may have ended for you but that's because new things are in store for you so i just want to mention to you guys scorpio if anyone here around the time of this reading like and in the next few weeks to follow if anyone exits your life okay if anyone whether it's romantic business or friends otherwise do not chase them okay in fact allow this person show them the door okay show them where the door is and do not chase after them because the right people will stay in your life and they will make an effort here and anyone that takes an exit from your life they're doing so because without you necessarily realizing it they're creating room in your life for new people and new relationships to enter okay so this is why it's best that you do not chase after anything because if you chase any people that leave your life if you decide to chase after them right that person and that kind of stale stagnate stagnated energy that's going to continue around that person around that situation whereas i feel like if you allow something to end look at the page of wands you you potentially have a new romantic prospect coming in for you you have a new beginning you have new exciting and positive developments in um new love offers new messages here so see but that can only come in if you allow for things to come to an end when they should because certain i know it sounds a certain, you know a certain way but certain relationships and situations they have an expiration date on them and unfortunately i feel like there is some some of your connections here do have expiring dates on them okay they do whether it's friendships or romantic business and that thing has come to an end and simply scorpio you've also add grew you've actually add grew certain people in certain situations here and in order if you actually want to stay with those people the situations that you add grew with it would mean that you'd have to shrink yourself in order to fit in and why would you want to do that why would you want to do that so anything that ends allow for it and understand that it is the universe's way of um making new room in your life for making more room in your life for new people to enter okay um you have the twos here the two of swords and the two of pentacles here now this is blockages so i feel like for some of you as well this week some of you are going to be blocked by someone or you're going to be do doing the blocking here and it feels like you're not ready you're not ready to end anything with this person just yet um or you're not ready to stop like stop communicating with this person you're not ready to have them exit your life just yet so don't do anything don't make any decisions prematurely okay now allow things for end but allow them for, to end naturally organically if you're not ready to let go of a person or if you don't have closure around a certain situation you're not going to be accepting of the fact that something he has ended for you here so don't okay don't go ahead and feel like you have to block simply because that's your way of coping with it you know in some ways i feel like it's really going to backfire here it's really going to be counterproductive because you know deep down inside you you're not ready to release this person's energy or you still have a lot of things that you want to say and the things left unsaid are going to say at all so this blocking if you're the one that's doing the blocking and if you if that blocking is only out of hurt or anger you're going to regret it because if you still have some things that you want to communicate to this individual get it off your chest okay get it off your chest get it off your mind because 
anything like any person that you don't forgive here anything that you don't forgive that tends to run around in your subconscious and it may come up as dreams or insecurities here so we don't want that running around in your energy right so do not take like do not take any action prematurely especially if you feel like you're not ready for it because essentially i'm also seeing that that potentially could lead to unwanted blockages later um, in life here you do have the two of pentacles as well and it's a very Okay, some of you, I see that you're involved in a situation that's going around in circles, but where is it really going? Okay, it's, uh, there's a lot of inconsistencies with the situation or with this person's energy, or it's very up and down. Um, there may also be two people here. There may be two people that you're stuck on. Someone feels, one of these energies feel like they're from the past. The other person feels like this is someone new from the future and you're stuck here. You're not able to decide. Or you may be involved with someone who is stuck, okay? And they're stuck between you or they're stuck between someone else here. So the cards here are warning against making any decision, any decision when you're in this indecisive state because you might make some decisions that you might potentially regret here. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. Um, for those of you interested in reading, feel free to connect. Bye for now.